Today, I want to talk about a new way of building pages with Thrive Architect, all thanks to a brand new feature that we have just released. Let's have a look. Hello, I'm David from Thrive Themes, and this brand new feature is called Global Colors. And to understand what it does, you need to understand what design language does. Basically, design language is formed by two, three, or maybe more predominant colors that basically repeat themselves all over your website. And if suddenly you decide you want to change one of those predominant colors, it's very difficult to do that because you have to go all over your website and wherever you find that color, you need to click on that element and change it manually. And with the global colors, you can basically change such a color from one single place. So let me show you exactly what I mean by this. Here we are in Thrive Architect and we have an already built landing page, but this process works much easily if you are building that landing page yourself from scratch. But in this way, as you can see, the design language is formed by these two predominant colors. We have this sort of yellow here and this orange, which is found here. And these two content boxes basically have a different, a slightly different shade of this yellow that is found in the two first background sections. So the question is now, what do we do if we want to change this design language. We want to replace it with different colors. Well, we apply the global colors feature. So this is how it works. We're going to start from the top and we're going to click on the first background section. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on background style here. We're going to access this option and we're going to click on the color picker. And for now, we're not going to change the color. We're only going to assign this to be a global color right now as i said if you if you're building this from scratch it is important to do this right away when you put a color on something and you know that that color is going to repeat itself it is very recommended to put it as a global color and that's what we're going to do we already clicked on the color picker and now we're going to click on this plus icon which means you have to save the color and then save it as a global color from here and right off the bat as you can see it automatically assigns a name to this color and the official name of this color is cream can now obviously if you want to change this name for your own purposes you can always click on edit select label and here you can rename the color right to something maybe a lot more simpler to yellowish maybe right and now we are going to apply this color and now the first background section has this as a global color we're going to click on the second background section click on the color picker and select the yellowish color as well and now the second background section also has this global color and we're going to scroll down now and we're going to do the same thing with these two content boxes now if you probably see these content boxes have a slightly different shade of the color from the background section but nevertheless in this example we're going to assign the same global color to them as well now this color repeats itself in the content box and also in the border from this image Right, we're going to click on the image, then on borders and corners. And from here, we're going to select the same global color. I'm going to do this for both of the images. And now we're going to deal with this orange color, right? We're going to click on this icon, go to background style. And here we're going to assign this particular color as a global color, right? And you can see this has its own name. We're going to leave it like that. For the moment apply it and then apply it on the button as well now the button has more layers right it has also a border we're going to remove the border because we don't need that and we're just going to go to background style and set the orange background color right and we're going to go to hover as well and we're going to assign it here as well as simple as that and now we also have to set these to here, these 
text elements essentially we're going to have to make them global in terms of color as well and now we're all set now as i told you it is ideal to do this from the beginning and you won't have to do this after your landing page is already done but since we're working on a template you can understand this process so now if we want to change the design language it is very easy to do that so we can go on any element that has the global color the background section for example click on background style click on this element here and where it says yellowish here we're going to click on edit and then on color and now if we want to change it we simply have to put a different color in the color picker so as you can see basically the entire landing page changes so if we want a color like this for example as you can see it is very easy we have to click on the done icon and then apply and the first color has basically changed and now if we also want to change the orange color all we have to do is click on one of the elements that has the global color click on background style here edit color and put a different color as well and as you can see all of the elements change and as you can see you basically have an entirely different design language as simple as that so make sure to assign a color to be a global color when you start building a landing page right it is very important to do that right off the bat if you know that that particular color is going to repeat itself all over that landing page now another very important thing that you need to remember is that global colors work across your website right for example if you have a funnel that is formed by a lead generation page and a confirmation page and a download page and they all have the same design language if you use global colors on those landing pages then if you change the global color on one of the pages the other pages will be affected as well and the design language for all of the three landing pages will be changed as well so in this way you're not limited to a single page as well you can use this on your entire website so basically this concludes our tutorial for the global colors feature i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or suggestions regarding this, please leave a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video.